Hey, this is David FM102. Uh, I'm back with more of my, um, in my order of um, top tens. And actually, I'll take my back. There is actually one before I'm going to begin mine. It was Super Conj. Um, Super Conj asked me on um, my Jack Tooth Steam thing I did over there what is my top ten underrated games? Um, okay, I'm up. okay, these are my top ten. Um, what I consider underrated. And my favourite ones of them, obviously. So number 10 is Kokuto Platform Jumper. I don't think anyone really knows what it is. There's no real videos online of it. Um, it's not really a known game. It's probably cheap, I'm assuming. Um, but I think it's pretty fun. It's, it's, it's kind of one of them games where some people were like, oh, that's pretty fun. And then other people were like, oh, it's the same thing. I mean, it is repetitive, but it's kind of like, it has new bits to it, so it kind of makes it a bit more enjoyable. But I actually like the game, and I completed it. Woo! So, yeah, it was actually a fun pick. Number 9 is Haven the Call of the King. I haven't been in this game, unfortunately. I don't know how far I've got with it. Um, but I do like it. It's pretty cool. It reminds me of Jack, in a way, in a bit. Jack 2. Um, not many players, this guy moving around, <laughs> platforming. Then there's also, like, vehicle riding and... Vehicle shooting, vehicle moving, <laughs> just a bunch of vehicles. And then other, there's like lots of like mini things involved in it. But I think it's really fun and I will let's play it someday. Number 8 is Brave for the Search for the Spirit Dancer. Another underrated game that nobody knows about. Um, also in my vote. So a lot of these are in my vote. Well, some of these are. Um, it's another fun game I've been in, so I've been in this one. Um, yeah, I think I got it like a day, and then like three days later I beat it, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, I beat it really quickly, I was like playing it non-stop. It was quite addictive, so, but it's not the longest game, but it's very fun. Number seven is Lonely Tunes Back in Action, another one I haven't beat. But, um, I've got like um, a third way through, so I'm probably like, no, about... There's five chap there's five levels and I'm up to level three. So I'm about I'm about halfway through or something. But it's very fun. It's very different. I thought it was just gonna be a mini game game, but it's not. It's got like actual gameplay and mini games in, so it's kinda of both. And it's just a really cool fun game. I really like it. Number six is Legend of K. Nobody probably knows about this really. Um another really fun platform game. A lot of these are just platform games that nobody really knows about. Number five is Robots for PS2 game. Now I w I'm gonna say this underrated, but with the views I'm getting with it, it's like everyone's like loving it or something. It's, it's my most popular let's play. Um, I think it's 11,000 as part one. Which to some people that won't be anything, but to me it's quite a lot. Sure, it's a lot to me. I mean, it's probably the um, video that's got most views. Um, but I'm still saying it's underrated because. I mean, I think most um, games based on films are going to probably be underrated because nobody really, not many people play them. I mean, everyone seems to hate them, but I actually play them and I, I do like a lot of them. I don't really care if people hate them. I mean, if you hate them and you've played them, that makes sense, but if you, you haven't played them and you hate them, then I don't get it. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Number four is Death Junior 2. That's where I began. It's a PSP game, probably one of the underrated PSP games that nobody knows about. He plays this little green Reaper guy. Oh, he plays Pandora, who I'm playing as. Woo! Um, it's kind of just platform jumping, slashing, attacking things. That kind of game, really. He plays this little, little cool character. And there's cool enemies. Um, and number three is Rift Trigger. Um, another game that everybody hates. Um, but is underrated because not many people know about it. Um, and I do actually have a game a lot. I've been in the game. Um, I beat it quite a while ago now. And I will let's play it sometime, so even if nobody watches it, I'm not, I don't care. I'm, I want to let's play it. Cause I like the game. So, and I'm sure at least somebody out there will. Game number two is Kaidak Lanig. Um, I've let's play this game and beat on it. So I've been in the game twice because I've been in it in general and then beat let's play. Um, it's really fun. Um, it's such an amazing game. It really is. 
Um, for some reason, people are loving it at the moment. We've been watching it, so yay! Go Kaya! And my number one, um, under, most un my favourite underrated game is Cable Kangaroo Round 2. I'm putting that there because I don't think that many people know about it. But that is a really amazing game, I love the game so much. So I'm going to put it in there, number one. Okay, thanks for watching, a shout out to Super Conj for asking me this question. Next time will be my own idea. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.